So, how did you come to make a film in Manila? In Manila, and what challenges did you face when when you were filming that? Um, I was on holiday in Manila in 2007, and um, I witnessed um, this armored truck pull up and two armored truck drivers get out and have this intense argument which I kind of believe was going to end with one of them getting shot. <laughs> and then um, uh, it did end with one of them kicking the truck and getting in the getting back in and driving off. And it was this sort of thing that I witnessed that sort of stuck with me. And I started to think that there was a movie there. And so I started to work on the idea of a, 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 a sort of a treatment based on that scene. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I mean, the theme of doing or people doing bad things for good reasons is quite prevalent in this movie. So yeah. I was wondering, do you think it's better to do the right thing for the wrong reasons or the right or, or um, a bad thing for the right reasons? It's interesting because I think what you're saying is, 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 is basically how you approach crime movies because what you're saying when you make a crime movie is you're either saying um, crime pays or you're saying crime doesn't pay. Mm. Um, and ultimately I think Oscar's journey um, throughout this film, um, I think would be, um, I think the audience would feel um, disappointed if his problems were solved simply by doing a crime and getting away with it. And so I think the idea is that crime does pay, but only if you're willing to pay the ultimate price for it. Gotcha, gotcha. What would you say is the most interesting reaction you've had from Filipinos who've seen it so far? Um, I think th most Filipinos that see it are very, uh, very moved by it. I think it's a, I think it's a story that's very close to their hearts. You know, this, they all understand. A lot of Filipinos migrate, so it's a lot of them have had this, um, this story in their life that they've moved with the hope of a better life to Manila. And not everyone has obviously had the better life once they've got to Manila. So I think they really identify with that. But also the values of um, the Filipino people, very much about family and um, you know support of family and sacrifice. These are these are these are very strong straight traits of the of the Filipino people, and so um, you know I think they identify with that as well. Mm -hmm. How much did the script change from the time when you initially presented it to the actors to the final cut? Was it was there much change there? Um, not so much to the actors, but there was, once we'd finished the, the script and we went to the Philippines, it was quite apparent that there was a lot of stuff that we'd put in the script that just didn't happen that way in the Philippines. Mm. And so there was this sort of immersion that I had in the Philippines where I was sort of uh, living there amongst, you know, Filipino people and the Filipino culture. And this sort of osmosis kind of uh, came over me and and when I looked through the script it was obvious that I'd written this as a westerner who had suddenly now gone into a country and didn't have a complete understanding of w the way this country worked so um, you know I, I was sort of given these gifts and these gifts I sort of worked their way into the to the script and they were very much a, you know to make it authentic because I wanted it a film that Filipinos looked at and said yeah that's that's what it's like. That's what it's like to travel from Banaue to Manila. That's what Manila's like. These are what the these are what the people are like. I identify with that. So it was very much about, you know, getting the um, getting those sort of those uh, traits of the the Filipino city and 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 really bringing them alive within the, the script. Mm. Were there any deleted scenes, or was it everything that you filmed <coughs> pretty much made it? There was a few. Uh, we had to be really careful with the wife May and the situation that she's in, and mm. and I think in the script it probably went a little bit further than it does in the film, and so um, I think ultimately we had to be careful of how far we got May into the situation that she was in, and so we had to be a little bit careful there, and so it was sort of more. Uh, I think some scenes were sort of cut, and I don't think they were ever filmed. But they were more; they were just sort of cut back gotcha. and 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 sort of. Um, carefully balance while we were filming. Yeah. Now, each of your films that you've done so far have been sort of different mm. in their own way, which I love. Um, when there are sort of, there's so many reboots and sequels out right mm. now, what are your thoughts on that? And c can you ever see yourself making a sequel to your work or to someone else's work in future? I think if it warrants it, then maybe, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, um, you know, it is show business and so there is that second part that needs to be addressed and mm. so you can understand it from that point of view and 
you know, and like Broadway shows have, you know, get, you know, they get redone and they get put on for new generations. And I think there's certain films that, you know, that um, that are ripe to be remade every every ten years for the next generation. Um, there are some that are just very particular to that generation and, and are not relevant and yet people still try and remake them because of their love of that film so mm. I think it's you know it's horses for courses and you you, you have to take each project at, you know for, for its face value and but I mean I'm not I'm not opposed to it in that respect but mm. um, you know uh, I, I like to think that my you know that whatever I do I'm, I'm passionate about and if that is a, if it happens to be a sequel that I'm really passionate about that sequel but at this point, no, I haven't. I haven't done sequel. <laughs> gotcha. I mean, what, what is next for you? Any any, any other projects in the pipeline for you? Now? Um, I'm working on another script with Frankie Flowers at the moment. There's another Asian sort of based film, and then um, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's okay. keeping well, me busy. Congratulations on the films. Thank Pleasure you. talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Cheers, fella. Nice.